Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll learn how to change eye color in video, animate it to follow the subject's eyes, and have a little fun with it, changing it to a different color whenever a model blinks. First thing we need to do is make a copy of our clip. Hold down the Option key and drag up on the clip to make a copy. Make sure it lines up with your bottom clip. Skim your clip, and every time the model's eyes close, press Command B to blade it. We'll start off with and end with the original eye color, so command click the first and the last clip above your timeline and press delete. Place your playhead over the first clip where the model's eyes are fully open, select the clip and head up to the inspector window. Select the color inspector and from the drop down menu select color board. Zoom in on your viewer and drag the little red box until the model's eye is visible. Make sure it's nice and big. Back in the color board, make sure the color tab is selected. Select the shadows pack, drag it over to the color you want to use, and drag up to add that color to your clip. You're adding a color to your entire clip, so everything turns that color. Don't worry about that for now, we'll take care of it in the next step. Do the same thing with your midtone and highlight packs. The higher up you drag the packs, the more color is added, so what I found works best is just adding a little bit to the shadows, a bit more to midtones, and even more to the highlights. Next, open the effects browser and add a draw mask to your clip. In the inspector window, change the shape type to B spline. This will give you nice round corners, perfect for masking out round objects. In the viewer, add control points to the inside of the eye, staying a little ways away from the edges. Try and keep the distance from the edge consistent for every control point. Click on the first control point to close your mask. Back in the inspector, Drag up the feather slider until the entire iris has color in it. If needed, adjust your control points to make sure none of the color bleeds through onto the eyelids or eyelashes. Once you're happy with it, in the inspector, add keyframes to control points and all the transform parameters. Since Final Cut Pro does not have auto tracking, we have to do this part manually. Go back through your clip, one frame at a time, and reposition the mask to cover your subject's eye. If you start seeing some of the color on the eyelids, adjust your control points so the mask only affects the iris. Once you get to the frame where the model's eye is closed, go back to the previous frame and, in the inspector, add a keyframe to the fill opacity slider. Go back to the frame where the eye is closed and bring the fill opacity slider all the way down. Since we started tracking our clip in the middle, we need to go back to the start point and track forward from there. With your clip selected in the timeline, press Ctrl V to show video animation. This is where you'll see all your keyframes. Move your playhead to the first keyframe and track forward from here, one frame at a time, adjusting your mask. We now have to do the same thing to the other eye. Make a copy of your top clip and layer it above the first copy. In the inspector window, click the reset arrow in the draw mask box, change the shape type to B-spline again, and add a mask inside your second eye. Add some feather to soften the edges. Add keyframes to the control points and transform parameters. And once again, go through a clip one frame at a time, adjusting your mask. Here's what we have so far. Now, to change the model's eye color when she blinks, select the second clip and add a color correction to it, selecting a different color this time. Add a draw mask to this clip, feather the edges, and add keyframes to your control points and transform parameters. Go through a clip and adjust the mask's position to follow the model's iris. Repeat these steps for the second eye and any more clips you have in your timeline. This will take some time, but when you're done, you end up with this cool effect. If you found this video helpful and you haven't yet, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more tutorials like this one. New videos uploaded every week, so please subscribe. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.